the answer to why is this IOL decentered. Again, removing viscoelastic caused this IOL to become shifted out of the visual axis. What's going on here? Using infusion to inflate the eye, we try to rotate the lens, hoping for more stability. But yet, when we come out of the eye, we note that, again, it decenters. With this Hoya lens, the haptics are firm, so you'd expect beautiful centration. So something's not right here. Let's fill the eye with a cohesive viscoelastic to maintain and deepen the anterior chamber. Now, lifting the iris with a chopper, we note that the trailing haptic is in the sulcus, above the capsular axis. This is the problem. We'll use our chopper to dial the lens fully into the capsular bag. So now both haptics and the optic are in the capsular bag, and this is confirmed by direct visualization. Removing the viscoelastic now results in an eye with a beautifully centered IOL. So the lesson is, make sure the lens is completely within the capsular bag.